वेलकम बैक डेवलपर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए रियूजबल रिएक्शन बटन इन फ्लटर एंड दिस इज द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो वेयर आई क्रिएटेड ए एनिमेटेड रिएक्शन बटन फ्रॉम स्क्रैच विद फ्लटर बट ओनली प्रॉब्लम हियर वॉज दैट इट वॉज नॉट रियूजबल इवन दो आई मैंसन इन दिस स्टेप लाइक हाउ यू कैन मेक इट रियूजबल ऑन विजिट्स यूजिंग दिस टैक बट दैट मैथड वॉज नॉट यूजफुल so in this video let's see how we can make this reaction button reusable and if you want to see how i created this uh, type of button then you can watch this video i will give the link of this video in the description and uh, in this video we will just see the final code for the reusable reaction button if you are coming from the previous video then you will see i have a new file called reaction button so now everything that previously was in होम पेज इज नाउ इन रिएक्शन बटन एंड हियर इज सम चेंज बिकॉज नाउ वी हैव टू पेज वन इज होम पेज दे आर दिस ऑल द यू आई इज एंड एन अदर इज रिएक्शन बटन दे आर दैट इज ओनली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस सिंगल बटन इंक्लूडिंग दिस पॉप ऑफ फंक्शन ऑलिटी सो इन दिस रिएक्शन बटन दिस इज ए स्टेटफुल विजिट नाउ टू न्यू थिंग्स हैज बिन एडेड वन इज इनिशियल रिएक्शन एंड एन अदर इज ऑन रिएक्शन चेंज सो वेन एयर वेन यू आर यू आर रियूजिंग दिस रिएक्शन बटन Uh, you can give some initial reaction that's why we can see some of the buttons had already initial reactions and uh, you can also uh, call a function like whenever the reaction of any of the button is changed you can call some functions that's why this on reaction change button is uh, option is also passed and even you can pass multiple options here like uh, you can pass the list of reactions from the previous screen so you can just create a another option for the reactions and pass from the uh home page and these reactions and uh, reaction reaction view are the same as it was in the previous video and now coming to this build method it is directly returning this gesture detector previously there was a ink wheel but now we need gesture detector because of this on long press star so let's see why we need this before that i would like to explain on tap so previously on tap was in the ink well now it is inside the gesture detector but the feature is exactly same for the on tap except this on close overlay so because now we are showing the reaction pop up in a overlay so for closing that we need this on close overlay as well and uh, this reaction icon is also the same previously it was a function now it is a stateless widget and this is also the same so now let's focus on the main thing that is the responsible for the pop up so this is the so reaction pop up why we need on long press start because for showing the pop up we need the position like where the user is clicking and where that button is located so let's say if this button is located on the top left so we need this position of uh, global position of this button and based on this position we will show this pop up so when this button is on the top pop up will show on top and when this button is on bottom pop up will show on bottom so for that purpose we have used on long uh, on long press start and these details and on the so reaction pop up function we have passed the global position of that button and this is the similar one like on set state on reaction view is equal to true so let's see what is so reaction pop up so this function takes the position like where it has to show the pop up and these are few things like if the button is extreme right side then we cannot uh, show the pop up like uh, in this case you can see the pop up is coming on the right side of the button so if the button is extremely right side then we cannot show out outside the screen uh, that's why we have just uh, done this calculation like left minus 100 so uh, let me show you like why i have done this so instead of this demo on the second child in this uh, row let's make it a first child so now if i will long press on the reaction button then the pop up will come on the left side not on the right side of the button so for that this basic calculation is done and here starts the overlay so overlay basically so the uh, widgets on top of another widget uh, for that purpose we have used overlay and here we have given this left from the left and right is uh, top is coming also from the position that we passed earlier and 
here uh, everything is same that was in previous video like container height box decoration list view and list of reactions only new thing is this on close overlay so that uh, whenever this overlay starts on if user reacts to any of the button overlay should be closed so on closed overlay uh, just simply overlay entry dot removes this overlay entry now you can reuse this reaction button in your home page in a card or anywhere you can use i have used this reaction button inside a list view dot builder inside a card so there are multiple elements and multiple time this reaction button is used as a single reusable reaction button and here initial reaction is given by the get fake initial reaction i have created a function for that like if mod by 5 then like and if mod by 9 then laugh if mod by 7 then love that's why you can see some of the initial reactions here and uh, on reaction change you can do some calculation or something api call whatever you want so that was it like how you can uh, make a reaction button reusable using the overlay in flutter so basically this is the main key point for making this uh, reaction button reusable and this time i will push this code to github and will provide the code link uh, github link in the description so thanks for watching i hope this time you will not face any problem while reusing the reaction button and thanks for watching have a great day